good morning it's me Aaliyah and I'm here with Logan and we are just chilling um before I go to work Pat's going to the store to get Logan some milk and whatever else we need so he's trying to pull my wig off y'all I just took my head wrap off so yeah when Pat get back I'm gonna have to get ready for work I have to add some moisture to this wig y'all oh wait I'm overexposed hold on oh so anyway, I just wanted to come and talk. I haven't been on here for a little while. I got in like a little down mood or whatever and just stopped doing stuff. Um, not stopped, like, you know, I was still doing stuff, but I just wasn't, you know, trying to record it or nothing. Valentine's Day was pretty cool. I went to work and when I got off work, Pat made me some chocolate covered strawberries. He said he ordered me some, but they got pushed back and they wasn't going to be here until today. So... <laughs> so he went to the store and bought me some um i mean he went to the store and bought the stuff to make me some which made it so much more special um i still came home and i cooked dinner because that's my love language y'all it was so beautiful i had pat he was holding logan yeah he was holding logan and then um that was taking the little the little silk off the corn um and the girls were at the table they had them a corn a ear of corn taking the silk off and stuff and i was like it's so cute so i ended up making um i did make steak i made shrimp you're so sweet baby i made steak i made shrimp i made some parmesan roasted potato oh <laughs> parmesan roasted potatoes and corn on the cob but, um, yeah, I had to kiss and love on him before he ran away. Because he be gone. So, anyway, yeah, I've been in a, like, a depressed mood where it's, like, I'm not comfortable um, in life with life itself. Like, my relationship is great. My house is great. My kids are great and stuff like that. We're healthy and everything. But it comes, I've been thinking a lot lately, ever since having my son, I've been thinking a lot. Look, can you move your head, baby? I gotta put this hurting point tail before I go. But I've been thinking a lot about the future. Like, I'm so scared of failure. And I know this isn't our forever. Like, I do dream of bigger. I dream of better. And it's like, I'm trying to think of the best route to go to get, um, you know, to ensure that I have a good life, good rest of my life. My kids have a good rest of their lives and stuff like that so we are able to enjoy life itself or and are able to enjoy you know just enjoy things and plus this is the time of the year where it's like i start to feel good all you know all good inside and so because it's like the season is changing springtime is coming you know it's starting to look beautiful outside i'm in the midwest so it get real ugly sometimes but it's starting to look really beautiful outside the weather is starting to feel okay but I've been torn between go to school, don't go to school. Like right now, I still have a debt. I have a school debt because my school lost the accreditation for the program that I was doing um, at the end of the year. So I've been out of school. And ever since then, that's really, really when it started hitting me that, dang, I had to keep on starting over and I'm tired of starting over. I want to rest. Excuse you. Boop. I want a career. I want a career that's that satisfies my family financially and also give me time to be at home you know i want to be able to be there with my kids to experience things i want to be able to take my kids places i want to be able to put money up for each and every one of my kids you know things like that um i want to be able to secure uh and you know even though pat pat right now he's the breadwinner i work but he brings in the bacon you know but it's like i want to match his fly <laughs> okay so i'll always say um, I want to be in a position to where if anything was to happen, my goal is to be in a position to where if anything was to happen between, you know, to Pat or between Pat and I, I would still be able to financially handle everything. You know, I want to be able to pay for this house, my car, every bill on my own. And then I want my savings to be so freaking stacked up that if something was to happen, I want to be able to cover for six months, you know? So I just, I'm just on in a mood where it's like, girl, come on, time is, you know, you're 25 now. You got all these kids. You need to take care of them and stuff. Granted, I'm I'm grateful that my kids are young and I'm kind of finally getting to the mindset that I need to be in for the future. Cause the reality is, we've I've seen some I've heard of so many people passing away, 
and you never know when your term is next and right now what do i have to leave my kids you know it's just that um i have like what do i really have to leave my kids and what if i do have is definitely not enough so i've been in the mode of trying to do um you know just trying to get myself together um i want to invest in myself in a way that the money will come back because i prefer to go and do trades i prefer to uh, spend my money to learn a skill that I can use, you know, for a while, if not forever, you know. So I don't want to, I decided not to go back to school. I was thinking about going to school, but I decided not to go back to school because I was like, okay, so many things that I could do right now. Um, you know, I'm going to just get a whole bunch of anxiety and stuff. I feel like my timeline is running out and stuff like that. So with that being said, I did decide to go to trucking school. Now, I didn't start yet. Um, I have to pay five thousand dollars to get started and stuff like that. So I'm working on that. Hey, hey, hey. They said it take about four weeks. He's ready for a nap, but he's fighting it. But yeah, they said it take about four weeks to get uh to get certified to get your license and stuff like that. So that's something that I'm planning on tackling this year. And then hopefully I'll be a truck driver. Like shortly after that. But I'm just you know, they but my thing is, I told, you know, I just want to be somebody local. I mean, not somebody local. I want to be a local driver. I don't want to be, um, you know, I can't be on the road. I need to be at home with my babies. I need to be at home to cook my baby's food. I need to be at home to put my babies to bed and stuff, especially since I only spend, technically, I'm, so, I'm only spending half of the week. <laughs> I'm only spending half of the week with the girls. When because that's how me and their dad have it set up, even though he's been getting a lot of mandatory overtime at work and they've been staying a little longer, but technically, I'm um you know we agreed on half of half of the week and stuff, so I don't want to miss out any more on any more time that I have to, you know. But I want to work hard. I want to provide for my kids, you know, and I just want to build something completely different with Pat, you know. Um, this is not our forever home. I want to. I'm just saying goals and plans. Like I plan on getting completely out of debt within a year. Um, because if I could become a truck driver, I'll be able to afford to become out of debt. I know I gotta make sure I can have my money out for the tech seasons and stuff like that. But you know, so I'm just getting my head right and stuff. You know, just trying to make sure I'm just doing what I need to be doing. Honestly, I've been working at different jobs and stuff and neither one of them satisfy me because you need like by the time you get done waiting for your paycheck you didn't pet you owed so many people and then you got to go outside and do all that work and they are giving you barely enough to survive it's like yeah i'm surviving but what i got fifty dollars into my next pay and i tell people all the time i'm thankful that i don't do this by myself i don't even do the majority like pet does the majority and i'm grateful to have him you know he does what he does you know and he don't ask questions about it. He do whatever needs to be done, whenever it needs to be done. And that's for me, that's for the kids, that's for anybody and anything. But anyway, I'm just sitting here and trying to, you know, I was just thinking about it and decided to just post something instead of going ghost. But dang, boy. Big old boy. But yeah, so I'm waiting on him to come back. He sent me a message about something, but... Yeah, I started braiding my hair the other day, y'all. Wow, y'all look, this week is so busted. Only because I cook, right? So I always have this hairnet on her. So I just have it on her all the time. And then I take it off every so often. Like, I'm about to moisturize it, and it's going to be looking all good and pretty. But then I'm going to turn around and put this right back on. Um, oh, so the courthouse is opening back. Well, they're already open. They opened up on Monday. So one of these days, we're going to go ahead and go to the um, courthouse to bring the excuse me to get our marriage license i remember the first time i got married they had me to wait 30 days i thought they had me to wait 30 days you had to get it 30 days before getting married i could have sworn but now they're saying you only have to get it a, a day before so we got all the way into the 13th but right now we're just trying to get everything together um trying to get some stuff together around the house and stuff and um he bought me dresses for my birthday he bought me three dresses so it's this red one that's really nice and i said hey let me wear these dresses before i can't fit them no more so i think i'm gonna wear the red one to get married i need to order him some red pants and a, a white button down shirt 
and if it'd be nice if i could find him like some red and white shoes and we go use like gold as the accessories so get him some a watch or something and stuff like that and then i'm trying to see i don't know i may do a quick weave in my head i know i'm not wearing this because i mean it looked really cute when i put it together and vamp it up and stuff but i want straight so i may do like a side part quick weave if i do i'm gonna show y'all me doing it because i was gonna braid my hair but i don't be having time for that y'all because i started and i got like this little side right here done y'all mm -mm. i got frustrated and took it down because i needed to be like i needed to be mom i needed to be cook i needed to be everything at once and i didn't have time to do my hair so we are like three weeks away i need to order me some i want some in my head i'll be coming up with stuff and i hope it's something out there like this but like some clear chunky heels with red clear and red chunky heels but we'll talk about that again later i need to i'm letting my eyebrows grow because when i arched them i arched them kind of thin so i want to go and get them done oh by the way for valentine's day pat got me this he got me this massage and it i mean i didn't get it yet but it was so sweet because i'm always telling him i want a massage i want a massage so he tried but he he's not a masseuse but anyway and that was so sweet so i said i was gonna go ahead and get that done um before i may pay for him one and we can go and get it done together either before the marriage or after i don't know but anyway i gotta do my nails i gotta do my hair i gotta do everything i almost likely do a quick weave with a side part and probably like a swoop bang and stuff but i'm so excited uh time is really ticking now but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I'm going to try and put baby boy to sleep. He's already falling asleep. So I need to be quiet. And then I can put his hair in a ponytail. So I'll see you all sometime later. If not today, tomorrow.